Today we're giving you my top five photography accessories that I can't and you shouldn't be living without. Let's get into it. Well, welcome back to another video and today we're discussing my top five photography accessories for you. And these are things that nobody's paid me to say. These are my own products that I bought with my own money. They're not sponsored in any way. This is just my personal opinion and experience over the last few years. So I hope these things help you out and maybe shed some light on things that are gonna make your life easier. And in case you wanna pick any of these products up that I talk about in this video, I did leave affiliate links in the description for you. So let's dive into the first one. Number one is an absolute necessity for me, and that is a camera strap. What's the first thing that you do when you get your camera? You open that box, you take everything out, you grab that camera strap out of it, and you what? You immediately throw that into the garbage because it's trash. And I hate every camera strap that comes with a the camera. They're terrible, they have no grip, or any way to basically not fall off your shoulder, and they're uncomfortable. They don't distribute weight very well. There's really nothing good about them. For me, that's when the Peak Design Slide Light and Slide Camera Strap comes into play. And this strap is phenomenal. It is literally the best thing probably to happen to my life ever. Okay, that's a bit extreme, but let's have a look at this strap. This thing is very, very simple. It is this thick, and this is the slide version, so not the slide light. It goes over you, you can use it as a normal strap or basically as a sling as I find myself carrying it a lot of the time. And it looks something like that. But in just one second, you can basically take this strap and change, just like that, the length of it. Just by picking that thing up and if you're shooting a, with a big lens, it's going to be phenomenal to get that quick draw wherever you need it. As well, another amazing thing of this strap is of course the quick releases and literally just like that, that goes on to the side of your camera. This is of course on the strap. If I'm throwing it on a tripod as I do right now, in literally quarter of a second, I have that off and we have our camera exactly where we need it. So with anything Peak Design, you do pay a premium because their products are very good and I swear by this thing. This is the camera strap that I buy on every one of my cameras. I personally prefer the slide over the slide light just a little bit more because I do a lot of the time have a bit of a heavy lens on there and I feel like it just distributes and feels a bit safer for me. So there you go. There's my first absolute necessity is a camera strap upgrade. For me, it's got to be the Peak Design slide or slide light. Now, number two on the list might be kind of a no-brainer, but it's a cleaning kit. Absolutely have some kind of cleaning kit so that you can dust off your lenses or clean off the dust and the specks and the mud and whatever else gets on there. And this is an absolute must, whether it's just something as simple as an air blower so you can kind of, you know, do that when you're shooting whatever you need to or something a little bit more in depth like a lens pen, like you see here. This is kind of a two phase thing, and this is kind of have a brush to get off all that stuff, as well as the other side, which actually removes fingerprints and whatnot, but do be very careful when you're using this. If there's anything on the lens, you do risk scratching it. So some kind of a cleaning kit or microfiber cloth, at the very least, I suggest to have, and you can pick these up for dollars online, but Throw something in your bag so that you always have the ability to clean your lens when you need to. That's number two. Number three is a tripod or tripods. And you can never have enough tripods for different applications, different weights. And do yourself a favor, spend the money on the tripod, get a good sturdy tripod. And there's probably not gonna be one size fits all because depending on if you're traveling or you need something very, very sturdy for say long exposure photography, do your research and find the tripod that's best for you, but don't cheap out on a tripod. That is my advice to you. Again, I will throw the links of the tripods that I use for you guys to see that I've used extensively over the last few years and do enjoy. Let's move on. 
Number four is a neutral density filter or an ND filter, as I'm sure you've heard it called. And this is gonna be really handy for things like long exposure photography, or if you're gonna do anything to do with video, you're gonna need a variable or adjustable ND filter that you see here. And that's gonna let you choose how much light is gonna be allowed into the camera above and beyond just changing your shutter speed and whatnot. So this is an absolute must. It's gonna let you take cool long exposure shots like this. And luckily they're not that big, so you can just throw them in your bag. And because we usually have more than one lens, they're not always gonna be the same filter size. So it's not always gonna fit on every single lens you have. So what I recommend is buying a filter adapter set or a filter step up and down ring set like you see here. And this is gonna allow you to basically throw it on the back of your ND filter and then use it on all of your lenses and not just buy a neutral density filter size for every lens that you have that could be really expensive. So this is a cheap alternative. Again, I'll throw it in the description for you. And if you wanna learn more on neutral density filters, that's the time for another video. And last but not least is of course a camera bag. And this is an absolute necessity. And there is no, unfortunately, one size fits all bag. It really depends on your needs. It depends if you travel, how much gear you have. There are a million factors. So do your research, look at some reviews, some testimonials, and figure out which one's gonna be best for you. Personally, it took me for a while, and I do own actually a few bags depending on what I'm doing, but the bags that I do have at this point, I absolutely love. So check those out if you're interested. So that's pretty much it. Those are my top five photography accessories that you pretty much absolutely need, I would say, or really are gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier. If you're just getting into this, really consider those things and in no particular order. And I hope this helped, guys. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And if you wanted to check any of this gear out one last time, it is in the description. There are affiliate links down there. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you in the next one.